example 5. This is an application on partial differentiation. We are given a rectangle has length xcm, breadth ycm, and diagonal dcm. First part is express d in terms of x and y. So let's draw a rectangle. The length is x, the breadth is y, and the diagonal is d. So what is the length of diagonal? Since you have right angle triangle, so d is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared. So d is a function in terms of x and y, which is square root of x squared plus y squared, or x squared by y squared raised to the power half. Now we answer part b. If y is held constant at 4, that is, y is always equal to 4, Find the rate of change of d respect to x, which means we want to find what is the partial differentiation of d with respect to x when y equal to 4 and x equal to 3. This is the calculation. d is equal to x squared plus y squared with the power half. So, partial differentiation of d respect to x differentiate x squared plus y squared with the power half with respect to x. Using the power rule, if you remember, differentiation of x power half if half times x power half minus 1 is negative half. Therefore, this is equal to half x square plus y square with power negative half. Then, apply the chain rule and the partial differentiation of x square plus y square. And this is equal to half times 1 over square root of x squared plus y squared. And when you do partial differentiation of x squared with respect to x, you get 2x. And partial differentiation of y squared with respect to x, you get 0 since y is held constant. So after simplifying, you get x over square root of x squared plus y squared. So the rate of change of d with respect to x when x equal to 3, y equal to 4, this is equal to 3 over square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is 3 over 5 or 0 0.6. This number is positive. Let's interpret this number. It means that the diagonal d increases with x at x equal to 3, y equal to 4. So for example, when x equal to 3, y equal to 4, the diagonal d we know is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared, which is equal to 5. And at this moment, 
when x increased by 1, so x equal to 4, and y is also 4, then we expect the value of d will be increased approximately by 0 0.6. That means d will be approximately 5 plus 0 0.6, about 5.6. The interpretation I give earlier is no different from the interpretation of rate of change. For example, if I have dy dx equal to 0 0.7, that means that if x is increased by one unit, then we expect y to be increased by 0 0.7 units. If x is increased by 0 0.1 units, then y is expected to increase by 0 0.1 times 0 0.7, 0 0.07 units. So if you understand this interpretation, you will be able to interpret the rate of change in partial derivative.